hey there in today's video we'll be learning how to make your own country's flag and in this video we will learn how to use the cloth physics and as well as wind physics so this is how our animation will be looking so this is the cloth the flag is made of cloth and we have applied the wind physics as well and this is the view in viewport mode we will also learn how to add this guy so let's get started i will open a new file then i'll delete this cube now first we will be making the pole so to do that we will add a cylinder shift a cylinder and we'll scale it like scale it along the x axis then y axis then again up it in x and in y and then we'll scale along the z axis so here we have the pole now the next thing is we need to add the flag so to do that shift a mesh or oh sorry image and then select this image as plane and now if you don't have this option so to do to enable this option go in edit references and search for import yeah import export import images as plain just check this checkbox and refresh it and then you will find this option so shift a image images as plain and you can download any image of a flag and then you have to upload it over here so we have the image now i'll just align it scale scale along y axis okay and i'll just make sure it sticks to the pole so g x yeah now we have the flag now what we'll do is we'll add some wind so to do that shift a force field and wind let's grab it place it over here rotate it and increase its strength So yeah. Okay. Now now we'll go into the edit mode. Then right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide, and again right click, subdivide. now what we have to do is we'll select the top two vertices the shift select and the bottom two vertices shift select and then we'll add a vertex group to it so we'll go in object data properties and click on this plus sign vertex group and then assign now we have assigned the vertex group now we will add a cloth physics so physics properties and then cloth and in cloth search for the shape option shape and then pin the group that we have created the vertex group over here 
so now we have done that and then you can just play with these options I'll keep the stiffness as 5 and bending 0 0.1 0 0.1 ok so I think we are done I'll go in object mode and play so you can see that we have this animation so we'll just add shade it smooth add a sub also we will add a subdivision modifier add modifier subdivision surface and yeah just make sure you also add a collision to this flag so to do that physic properties and then collision so the collision is added and also under this collision section just tick this cell collision box and also we'll add the collision to the cylinder as well and we'll make sure the flag sticks to the cylinder yeah so we are done with this now so now you can see we have the flag rotate this one ok so we have it now the next thing is we have to add the uh, background sky image so to do that it's very simple just go into edit preferences and search for dynamic sky just check this checkbox and refresh it now press n then you can find this create option over here create dynamic sky and then press create now the you can see this information over here that it tells us that please select the world name dynamic one from properties world so we go into world properties and then we select dynamic one and then we choose the sky assign the sky color which is dark blue yeah so we are done now now when you go into viewport shading mode you can see that we have this and if we play the animation my PC is gonna lag so if you play the animation you will have the perfect image so yeah we are done with this so i hope you like the video if you like it then please hit that like button and also please hit that subscribe button so to do that we will add a cylinder shift a cylinder 